Today this could be the greatest day of our lives. Adams kindly agreed to present the prizes for the best fleece. I'll just um, say a little bit about sheep and wool, and, and uh, it's great that uh, this tent looks the way it does. What an amazing demonstration and uh, exhibition that they have in here. Um, we've got a fantastic product in wool and in, in British sheep. And it's wonderful now that the value is, is lifting, thanks to the huge amount of work that the NSA and the Wool Board have been doing to promote not only British wool, but wool worldwide. So uh, if you've got a um, polyester jumper on, take it off and get yourself a woolen one. Thank you, Adam. And at this stage in the Huffy Society, could I thank uh, Adam for the work that he does in promoting agriculture for sheep and everything. So thanks very much, Adam, for the work that you do here. Chairman Jimmy Sinclair to come please. Now, just while we're waiting, I'd like to thank those that supported Adam mentioned the marquee and we have support from the Wool Board and the Wool Campaign and the uh, Scottish Enterprise have all helped put this together. So we would like you all to have a good look round. But while we're here, we have a award that the NSA Scottish Region presents each year. And uh, in the past, it's gone to several individuals. Um, this year, we, the committee made a decision that the award would be presented to the Lambing Live programme for the outstanding contribution that is uh, contributed to the sheep industry right across the UK. So I'll just hand over to Jimmy. I want to see a few more. Thank you very much, George. I'm sure you'll all agree that uh, Lambing Live has been an undoubted success, maybe even more so as the BBC would ever envisage a couple of years ago. Adam. Adam's face is more better known maybe now as the Prime Minister. <laughs> <laughs> and that might not be hard, but... Uh... <laughs> anyway, it's well done to Adam and Kate Humble and everyone, and uh, the, some, not all the problems as well go into the living rooms of people, but... So, to resurrect what everybody else has said, and a big thank you to everyone, but if Adam would be so kind to accept the CSA salver on behalf of the Guam and Wife production Thank you very, very much. It's a fantastic honour to receive that from the Lambing Live team. And it is a big team of people. Um, it goes, there's quite a big, long process um, finding the family that we're going to be working with. And then it's a huge intrusion on the family that we go to. There'd be about 60 people. There's lorries and feed wagons and wires everywhere and lighting equipment. And when you see Kate and I on the television with the farmer and his wife and the children, um, you think there's just a small crowd of us there, but there's actually hundreds of people behind the scenes. And um, two years ago, when the BBC producer from London rang me up and said, we saw you doing a bit of lambing on Country Farm, and we'd really like to roll that out into a, a five programmes on BBC Two. They're going to be hour-long programmes, all about sheep. And I thought, goodness me, five nights all about sheep, consecutive nights, and it's not sustainable, and I like sheep. I do like sheep. I could talk about sheep until the sheep come out. We've got 15 different breeds of them at home. And... Um, but we went ahead and did the program. They told me I'd be working with Kate Humble, so that gave me a huge amount of encouragement to be working on the show. She really is a really fantastic lady, very, very lovely, very enthusiastic about farming and, and genuinely about sheep. She's now actually gone out and bought herself some sheep. 
and um, the viewer were writing in wanting to know more and more information and for me that was great because I didn't want to just set up sheep farming as lambs dancing in the daffodils. Uh, they really needed to know the whole story and the highs and lows and the troubles that farmers go to to create fantastic sheep meat and wool. And, and it came across and now they ran on with a second series this year up in Carlisle and they're now looking for a third family um, somewhere down in the Midlands to take the Lambing Live brand onwards and upwards and it was a flagship for the BBC and lots of people in, in production and BBC development are talking about Lambing Live and what a success it was. But for me as a farmer, it was fantastic and very, very easy because I stepped into my comfort zone filming and, and presenting on a farm and very, very easy also because the farms were so brilliant and because particularly the sheep industry, I believe, is really doing very, very well and it was very easy to present as a fantastic industry. Well done to, uh, to everyone here in the NSA. Thank you very, very much for this award. I shall, uh, I shall take this. I'm seeing Kate on next week and uh, I'll show it to her and I'm sure it'll go up in the Lambing Live office. Maybe we should, uh, in the next programme, we'll try and get it on. Thank you very much. Right, well that concludes it. Um, we have a very good display in here, so if you're just visiting, have a good look round. And uh, if you're back tomorrow, we have a fashion show parade with all the cool garments, so please come and see us. Okay, thank you. So, the fashion show will begin in a few minutes. Uh, we have support from the Wool Board as well, and the campaign from Wool. And uh, obviously I said Scottish Enterprise. And Hazel Brody over there, who's trying to hide behind everyone, has been very helpful uh, from Scottish Enterprise in putting all this together.
something. All these ladies here are just finishing knitting and spinning. And at 9 o'clock this morning, we clip the sheet. And very shortly, we will have a jersey that some of the, our chairman here actually may wear, Jimmy Simpson. It could be tight, but... And uh, just in front of me is our Vice Chairman, Sybil McPherson, who's obviously done a bit of spinning in her life. Clip the sheet and here we have our knitted finished jersey. Venus going to wear it. I'd just like to say that these ladies have worked since nine o'clock spinning, knitting, and this is the finished article. And I think they all deserve a huge round of applause. So enjoy them. I think this is sort of a trial run because next year we might manage to convince them all to go to the world record. We're practicing for next year, okay? We'll be back. We're just learning. Okay, we're just learning. Nine o'clock yesterday morning, uh, there was a Shetland sheep shorn, and Rena Douglas and her party of ladies then proceeded to spin the wool, turn it in, knit the jersey, and turn out the finished article would be auctioned here today, and the proceeds will be given to the Royal Highland uh, Benevolent Fund, a very worthwhile cause. So without any further ado, I'm going to introduce you to our auctioneer for, for this event is uh, Mr. Graham Burke, who is very well known to a lot of us, but he's an auctioneer with Lorraine Symington, true at Forkham. I thought Jimmy was going to model it there, but I can, for, obvi for obvious reasons, he's not. Right, anyway, it's all for a good cause, and a lot of work went into it, so... Right, just to let you know, when you take it home, you have to wash it. That's the wash version, you can see the colour. That's what will be when it's washed. You can also colour it as well, could you not? You can colour it as well. <laughs> Pure Shetland, you don't colour it, sorry. Anyway, right, what do we say for that then? Right, what do we say for that this time? Well, 500 for the jumper, surely. 5 or 2 or 3. 20, 120, 140, 160, 160, 180, 180, 200, and 220, and 220, 30, 230, 40, 240. I hope for a good cause now. And 320 pound and better 320, 320. I did say it stretches. <laughs> 320 bed, and 320 bed, 320, 330 bed, and 330 pound and better 330, 330 pound, 330 pound, you finish the end, and 330 goes to the chairman. 330 pound. Well done, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Rina, would you accept the jersey back again? And what you would do is take it to Lachern Head Shears and raffle it for a second time. Would that please you? We've been here that whole week. So we're we'll back to see another off to make a loop. Well, the best on what's your name? Ian, that's right. Best of all this time, you've been a grand job here, your shears are good and sharp. What's your name? Uh, oh, that's right. And uh, good on this before. Uh, How'd you go on last year? Uh, uh, you were tough. Good. Right. Now you in, uh, you're the same as the man over here, you should get a bit of a soft coat. How are you going to remedy that? Oh, I think you're quite right. Because they're even more open in the skin than some of the other ones. It means more, it means more work. But go through it. You've got 40 minutes. Now, the National Sheep Association is the body that looks after the interests of all the sheep breeds that we have in Scotland. And we have many, many breeds of sheep. 
And whenever the political issue, whether it be EID or health scheme, the NAC are our representatives to put our case across to government and to ministry. So it's important that as an industry we stand together and that we are actually seen to be putting our views across to the right people so that the message gets across to keep the sheep industry vibrant and profitable. Scotland's mainstay are sheep. So it's important that we look after the industry and as I said earlier on, encourage young people to become involved in it. And they can make a living out of it, but we as an association have got to see that there's a living there for them. And training and education and things like this competition here at the Highland Show are all part and parcel of securing Scotland's future as a leading sheep industry.